I've seen the headlines. I'm aware that they're out there. I said exactly what I want to say in the book. I frequently make the mistake of comparing my career to Ariana's. I can't help it. Jeanette claims Ariana was allowed to regularly miss work on the iCarly spinoff Sam and Cat to pursue her career as a pop star. She says the show's writers once explained Ariana's absence by locking her character in a box. Hey, can I have some more juice? Yeah, sure. Ariana misses work in pursuit of her music career while I act with a box. I'm pissed about it. And I'm pissed at her. Jealous of her. It's great to work on a show where everybody gets along. Jeanette is like the sweetest. But the moment that broke Jeanette, when Ariana came to set the day after a game night playing charades at Tom Hanks' house. I couldn't take it anymore. From that moment on, I didn't like her. I couldn't like her. Did you send Ariana a copy of the book? Did you give her a heads up? Uh, are you expecting to hear from her? I, I don't know. I don't know if she'll if she'll read the book or not. But uh, I think I think it's a really entertaining read, regardless of, of who you are. Um, so so uh, so I hope she does. Yeah. Hey, maybe Tom Hanks will get a heads up about the charades thing. Fingers and he'll crossed. He'll want to play charades with you. Fingers crossed. I would love to play charades <laughs> with Tom Hanks. That would be amazing. But Jeanette's tell-all memoir, Out Today, also contains some disturbing stories of abuse at the hands of her mom. The now 30-year-old says her mom calorie counted her food, triggering an eating disorder, and gave her showers until she was a teenager. Her mom died from cancer in 2013. Since then, Jeanette's had years of therapy. Where are you in the world of your recovery now? I consider myself fully recovered from eating disorders. Um, I believe that recovery is possible. I think it's really hard work. It's, it's, it can be really challenging at times, but I think that it's worth all of that work. And I hope that I can set some sort of example for anybody who might be struggling now that recovery is, is possible. Loved reading about your friendship with Miranda Cosgrove. What impact has her friendship had on your life? What does she mean to you? Oh my God, I love Miranda to pieces. I always will. She has such a special place in my heart. She helped me grow as a person and heal as a person. And I hope I did the same for her. And I just love her so much. And this is iCarly! Is there any chance that acting could be in your future again? I'm shocked to be saying, it shocked myself. Like when I, have you ever had one of those thoughts where it's like, oh, where did that come from? Yeah. Why is this happening? Um, I had that uh, maybe, a, I wanna say a couple months back uh, where I thought, you know what? There might be a way for me to act in a, from a place that feels really healing and empowered. Maybe I write something for myself. I don't know what that looks like. Uh -huh. I haven't gone that far. I definitely wanna focus on writing and directing, but I'm open to the idea of acting, which feels like growth to me because I, I had um, walked away from it so definitively in my past, which felt important to me at the time. Right. But I'm just at a different place now.